I am hungry already, Gwen. I am good. The smell, the amoy, ang sarap talaga. Oh, professional. <laughs> Would be nice if we had a mixer. Mixer, uh uh. Pero kaya, kaya, Gwen. Kaya. Ako na. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Mm, Dad, so you would be happy. You will be happy if you try this. What, what up, up mates? mates? Welcome back to our channel. Um, so today we're back in the Samurai kitchen. Even though we're in the car, we are actually on the way to get our ingredients for our dish today. And today, what are we doing? We are going to be making roast pork sauerkraut and dumplings. Wow. This is a Czech dish. Uh, this is one of my father's favorite dishes. And today we will be making this because one and I are craving. <laughs> yes, I've been craving for the dumplings for quite some time yeah. now. So we decided to finally make it because David's leaving for a couple of months. So we oh. wanted to feast on a nice Czech dish before we left. Yes. So we'll see you in the market. Hi! Hello! Hello, Mom. It's morning, Mom. So we're looking for a big pork chunk or shoulder chunk with fat on it. We put pork shoulder na buo pa. So we're looking at the adobo cut that's still not cut. Is this good enough? That looks pretty good. Put it like this there. Then yan. And then we'll take this one. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So we're good? Okay, now we're getting some flour and yeast. Yeah. My bad, we weren't making potato dumplings, we are making regular dumplings. May harina kayo? Apo. Okay, the market that we normally go to that has everything did not have yeast, but we had we found flour. So now we're on the way to another store to hopefully find some yeast for the dumplings. Yes. So guys, you can see Gwen. She is getting some yeast for us. Hey guys, welcome to our messy kitchen. So now we're prepping the pork first. Mm, look at that. Look at that piece of pork. Nice yeah. crispy skin here. Then beautiful meat. So we got the adobo cut um, piece of meat, the shoulder, but we didn't cut it. So we cut it So David's washing it now. And then we have this tray that's a gift from David's parents. And then we put it in a chair like this. So that the drippings and that there's sauce from it. So you can dip the dumplings in. So we need the pork, we'll need salt, we'll need caraway seeds, two onions, one garlic. And a bit of oil to wipe onto the skin oil. of the pork. Yes, and pepper. And soy sauce. And soy sauce. We want to put this straight away in the oven because it will take a while to cook. Yeah, and the oven is preheating right now. Yeah, 190 degrees. 190 degrees on convection with the fan. Sorry, our kitchen's medyo magulo. We just moved in kasi. We function better with a little mess. Oh, oh. So I'm just cutting up the, the onion. This will just give it the flavor and the, the taste for the drippings. Kasi we'll be using the drippings to put onto the uh, kinder weekly, which is the dumplings. Just can just chop it nice and rough, nothing too smooth. Okay guys, so we have now Gwen cutting up the garlic. And then we are going to make holes into the pork and then uh, stick them in. Yep. Then here I already put the onions in, as you saw. Then I put uh, one cup of water. Then we're going to put a dash of dark soy sauce. That's it. And then we mix that together. That is going to give it a lot of flavor, okay? Good job, Gwen. This will give the pork unbelievable flavor. So next up, we are going to put some olive oil onto the piece of pork. Should I do the bottom first? I uh, know, uh, just on the um, top. 
Yep. Okay. No need for the bottom. Oil. Yep. Oil her up. Nice and generous. Yeah, nice and generous. Yep. Give her a nice oil. Massage her up. Okay. And then generously salt her up. We need a lot of flavor on that. Yeah, it's a big piece of meat, so. Like the Czech roast pork is a lot different to the Filipino one. Oh. oh. Where we normally in the Philippines we normally uh, boil the meat first. Mm -mm -mm. So we're getting the bottom of the pork as well. Beautiful. Okay. So now. Sides that in. Okay. All right. Put it there. The next. Uh, generously rub some um, caraway seeds on it. So guys, we're just sprinkling some caraway seeds on top. Then Gwen will generously rub it in. Yes. If you guys want to look for caraway seeds, they're normally in groceries that have imported um, spices. This so guys, there you have it. The roast pork is prepped and ready to go. Well, now we will cover it with uh, alfoil and we will have it in the oven at 190 degrees uh, 40 minutes per kilo so we have about two kilos of meat here so we will uh, an hour and 20 minutes hour and 20 minutes in the oven then I uh, will show you the next step now it is time for the sauerkraut and dumplings preparation Gwen what do we have here one tablespoon of yeast. So this is half a tablespoon, so two. Two. Mix that up. Okay. So what do we have here? We have the flour, we have, we have the... all purpose flour. Okay. Which we're mixing the yeast into, and then we'll be mixing two eggs. Okay. And then a cup of lukewarm warm milk. milk. And then one fourth cup of warm water. And then we'll mix that up with three slices of white bread so that it soaks up the moisture and then we'll let that rise for an hour. Perfect! <laughs> oh, and... Some salt? Yes. So once this is on starting to rise, we can prepare the sauerkraut. Yes. So the milk the is milk. going... Professional. So guys, the flour here, it's very fine. If you can find a flour that's a bit more coarse, yeah. mas maganda yan. Pero, a double zero flour dao. Pero, uh, mahirap to find dito, so we just use the regular flour. But we'll testing muna to see if it comes out well. So we have Naya waiting patiently oh. here for her Czech dumplings, sauerkraut, and roast pork. And Cooper patiently waiting here as well. Are you hungry? Uh, Are you hungry? Um, Are you excited for dinner? Uh, yeah. Happy. Happy? I <laughs> Yeah. Are we going to be putting in the white bread pieces of it later? Yes. I'll actually do that now. Alright, so we have Gwen cutting up some bread and putting it into the dumpling mixture. This is again guys a traditional Czech recipe. You will not find this here in the stores. This is traditional Czech. Now we have mixing. So after this... It would this be nice if we had a mixer. Mixer, uh-uh. Yeah. Yung processor or ano yung... Yeah, like a mixer. Mixer, uh-uh. Pero kaya, kaya, Gwen. Kaya. Ako na. Let me do it. Let me get a bit of... Let me have a mix. I want it testing. Okay. that until it stops sticking to the bowl and that's when you cover it with a towel let that rise for about an hour one hour later so Gwen yes. what's this this is 
the dumpling. It has risen. So now we're gonna make the rolls. Okay. Then we let it, we roll it and we let it rest, Continue. Yeah. Then how many minutes are we gonna have it in uh, the simmering boiling water? Maybe between five to 10, like once it starts floating to the top. So next up we have the sauerkraut, no? Yep. Guys, I'll give you a quick update on the pork. We took off the um, top the aluminium and then uh, we're letting it crisp it up now. We're gonna boil some salt water. Yep, salt water. Here are the dumplings. Wow! Yes. So guys, malapit na yung roast. I think a little bit more. Yeah, a little but bit yeah, more. It's starting to crackle. Then this is the sakrat. So we, just, we fried up some onion, the sakrats in a teaspoon of caraway seeds and a little bit of salt. Ooh, the kitchen is hot right now. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna grate some apple. Apple and apple. And then put some water and let that boil so that it caramelizes and thickens the sauce. I am hungry already, Gwen. Yeah. I am yeah, the smell the amoy ang sarap talaga. Alright, we're putting in the dumpling. Yep. We got the sakrat cooking. Yep. But it's our first time. Yep. And let that boil. Look at that. The aroma here, guys, is incredible. The with the with the roast pork, gone with the onion and garlic. So guys, as you can see, the dumplings have rised. Um, they're just about ready. We're gonna take them out in a bit. And the sauerkraut is just about done as well. And we have the roast pork on the table. And then we'll show you guys how we'll eat it in a bit. Guys, here are the dumplings. This is a tedious uh, part because you need to do it while it's hot with a string and uh, so they don't harden the dumplings. This is beautiful. Good job, Gwen. So we're loading them up. It's quite hot, but uh, very beautiful. So we dipped some dumplings. Try it. This is your try. Imagine with sakra and everything. How was it? Mm. Oh, dumplings, it's my first time trying this type of dumpling. Uh -uh. I normally have the potato one. This one is like a baguette, but a boiled baguette instead of a baked one. And, and soak hot, hot and soaked with sauce, sour crap, the juices from the meat. This is Czech traditional food. Yeah, so this is what the pork looked like. Our oven had some issues, so it kind of burnt some parts and then didn't really, but the smell is just divine. The meat's gonna be delicious. Yes, and then so you put that sauce on the dumpling with the sauerkraut. Yum, yum, yum. So Gwen's going to prepare. You can Ooh, do it on an angle. Yeah, you can do it on an angle. Wow, it's it, oh my like gosh. Butter. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Oops. This is Czech roast pork, guys. Czech sauerkraut, dumplings. Oh my golly. Oh my gosh. So I cut it too thick, apparently. It's supposed to be nice and thin. Yeah. Like a ham. Like a ham. Yes. So this is apparently how we're supposed to eat it. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of crackly. Yes. Okay. Then a little bit of sauerkraut. Yes. Like that. Then the sauce. All the drippings. And guys, there you have it. It was tough, as you can see, hot in the kitchen <laughs> to make. 
But this was our first time, Gwen and I. We got, our, we got the recipe from our parents. So enjoy, guys. Have a great meal. Tell me what you think. Mm. Tell me what you mm. think. Is that the taste you thought you would get? Or... Mm. Mm. Yeah? It's good? It's pretty good for our first try in mm. Canada. Oh my god, the caraway seeds are so good. Yeah, right? With the, with the pork, right? Oh mm, god. So you would be happy. You will be happy if you try this. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching and for keeping up with our cooking adventures. <sighs> despite the whole chaos. Um, yun, maraming maraming salamat. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to be updated, press that bell button below. Um, we love you! Happy eating! Woo! Enjoy!